question five, we've got these two forces here. We've got 100,000 newtons pulling that way. Oops, that was pulling it that way as well, wasn't it? Um, so we've got along here, we've got 100,000 cos 25. And up here, we've got 100,000 sine 25. We've also got pulling it along here, T cos 20, and pulling it down T sine 20. Now, because it's going straight down the middle here, these two forces are going to be equal into each other. So I'm going to have 100,000 sine of 25 is equal to T sine 20. If I want to know what T is, I'll just do 100,000 sine 25 divided by the sine of 20. Tapping that into the calculator, into that calculator gives 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 5, and 0.31, but I'm going to stop there. So that's our tension um, working in that direction. There's what T is. So going into part B now then, we're going to add an extra um, force on this. That we're going to have a 2,000 Newton force pulling off to the left there. So altogether, how far to the right are we being pulled? So we've got the 100,000 cos 25 from the first bit there. We've also got the T cos 20 bit there. So that's the 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 5 cos 20 there. But we've got the 20,000 resisting its movement. And so that is the grand total of the resultant force going to the right. Let's tap that in and work that out. So I've tapped that in my calculator and I've got 186744. So this is the force that's taking it off to the right-hand side. Now, of course, force equals the mass times the acceleration. The mass is 500 tons, so that's 500,000 kilograms times by the acceleration. So the acceleration is the 186744 divided by the 500,000, um, which... Just tapping in the calculator there gives me 0 0.373 meters per second per second. 